Okay, we're here with the Filipino sensation Bruno Escalante. Bruno, so last time we saw each other was at the Superfly 2 card in, in Inglewood at the Forum. Amazing card, man. I didn't quite get the chance to talk to you, but just, just let, us, let me know, let us know what you're doing there. And uh, how'd you see the overall card, man? How did you see it? I just see it was a great fight, you know. It's good to see uh, my weight class uh, worth uh, competing. The yeah, get competing the HBO, and I think it's a uh, you know I went there you know to see the the talents of all the the champions, and you know hoping for to get an opportunity one day to fight for the card or you know fight one of these guys that fought that night. Was there a fight in particular that you were eyeing or studying or was it just whoever was obviously it was a stacked card in your division but yeah. um, did you have eyes on a particular fight or you know I was uh, both uh, Quadras is very um, you know he's He's very busy, but very good, skillful. Um, but he makes a lot of mistakes. So you were I, watching the Royal Quadras fight in particular. Uh, yeah, I, I was. Uh, I was watching that, and, and you know, uh, either one of the fight, um, that would be a opportunity for me to uh, to fight. Um, it's it's pack of uh, you know all the one There's to all. There's a lot of names. Yeah, yeah, a lot of names, and you know, um, Quadras and uh, Arroyo, that would be a, that would be a good uh, So it fight. looks like Arroyo's probably going to be biz busy with Ron Bisaí because he did win the WBC Silver title, right. I think, or enter on one of the two. Mm -hmm. So that means that he's, he, he's owed a title shot against Ron Bisaí, so he might be fighting him next. So that kind of does leave Quadros yeah, out, in, out in the open. Um, he's probably available. Um, from what you saw that night, man, how would you do against Carlos Quadras if, if that opportunity was given to you? I think, you know, honestly, I think I'll, I'll give him problems. Um, you know, I've seen um, he throw a lot of punches, you know, um, he can box, but, uh, you know, um, I'm confident about my style, my technique, so I think I'll do a good against him, you know. Um, where's, where's, where's he at now at this point of his career? He's coming off two losses, I think. Um, a lot of people expected him to beat Arroyo, he didn't, man. It was kind yeah. of an upset, but quite as you never know, because you know you don't know how his training camp's going right. or whatnot. Right. He could be serious, he could not be serious. But where's he at at this point of his career, man? Quadras you know, um, that fight was, you know, was, was I thought it was is closer. It was um, close. It was close. Watching it on television, look closer yeah, to him. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was closer. Um, I, I, he, Arroyo did hurt him in the first round, and I thought, um, you know, Quadras is tough. He he adjust and then still make um, went to distance. You know, um, it's a matter of uh, you know uh, he uh, if he can't come back and train hard, you know maybe he'll he'll compete at the world title level again. Yes. But that's something that that guy is like. I wanna have a fight with to show the um, what, you're capable what of. I, yeah, yeah. Who, who I am and what I can do. And you um, think Quadris is a guy that can bring that out of you? Or, 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 or uh, Arroyo, Arroyo or, or, yeah. you know, Arroyo. you know, it's, I think those are guys are, uh, I think I'm on that level. Yeah. Um, you know, not to be cocky or anything. I think I, I belong there. I spar, I was a sparring partner for um, uh, Chocolatito when he, uh, when he fought um, wrong beside the first time. I was the main sparring partner. I was sparring Brian Veloria back in 2012 and 2015. Mm -hmm. I sparred Nunito Donaire and you know, I'll, I do good against them and you know, and I feel like... Top fighters, top Filipinos. Yeah, so I, I feel like I'm on that level too. Okay, so last thing, if a Royal Syrian, obviously you want a Royal because he has a silver, the WBC silver in terms title, I can't recall which one. Um, so obviously you want you want a Royal, but if a Royal is not available, then there's Carlos Quadras or any of the other top names. So if a Royal's watching and hearing this, and Carlos Quadras, what do you tell them, man? Last words. You no, know, I think if you guys give me opportunity, you know, I, I could be good. You know, I could give you guys a good fight, good fight for the fans and, you know, for everybody that loves to fight. Give me a chance and you'll see.